Push the Point are now partnered with Living Realms, a pioneering local game store for flesh and blood in the UK from the very beginning. Push the Point patrons now get 5% discount on the Living Realms online store, so go check it out. Please enjoy the episode. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so hyped up because we just recorded a, a video that you may have seen already of us opening some boxes. And what, what better thing in life is there than to open it? Free box? stuff. And it's, I love yeah. getting post. I, I just, I don't know. There's something about getting a package in the mail, whether it's courier mail, whatever, um, and just waiting and opening it with friends. It's, yeah. it's, we've, if you haven't seen, we have a video that's just dropped about, uh, with metal, metal fab, fab tokens, to- uh, fab yeah. metal tokens, metal fab tokens, metal was- fab tokens, metal <laughs> fab tokens. Metal fab tokens has just c- did an awesome um, resource token in the shape of our gem that you can- that's on our play mat, uh, tri- and we- he's also done some really really cool beer token stuff as well. So they are on sale on his website, and you can go and check it out. Patrons, you're gonna get one of these gem resources anyway, just before being a patron. One of these. So boys. that's if you haven't seen, that's why we're trying to get all of your um, details on your home address and everything, so we can send these out to you and you can use it. It's so cool. Yeah, um, and if you if you're not a patron, you want to get one of these one of these tokens. It's a really good time to to join. Um, oh God, it's, we don't it's, normally, it's, we don't normally it's do a patron awesome. ask this soon in the podcast, do we? We normally I know. <laughs> we normally we normally well, wait until everyone stops listening, and then we're now like, we've got partners and <laughs> partnerships and everything. You know, yeah, we've, like, got. we've got patreons and partnerships and like and subscribe, everybody as well. It's on yeah, YouTube, on the... Spotify. Get... Ring, ring the bell. Ring the bell. I don't, I don't know what the bell does, but. I don't know what. Ringing, oh, ringing it that does bell. like notification. I what we like should to, say I is would like actually to ask a question to the audience. Did you like our spoiler? Because we haven't actually yeah, met up since the spoiler. God, we, we haven't, haven't met. About the spoiler. Please leave your comments down below about what your favorite bit about the spoiler. What bits did you like? Um, we, there was a lot That's, of yeah. work been put into this. Trip did a script. He got his wife and his friend to do the voice acting. Yeah. Then they threw the vo- all the voices over to me. I did all the audio work for it, and then threw the audio work back to Trip, and then Trip had to edit everything around that. It was, it was a super. Uh, and then you intro, super dope intro. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. It was literally it was, about it was such a week a, and a bit of so stress. Me and Hamish put a lot of work into it. Simon mm. supporting us from the back I, lines. I just did. Uh, I just that was so good. That's you what I did. Oh no, you, Simon, you won it though. You I did heckled. the turnaround oh. and not. Genuinely, that Simon, that, that made the video. Yeah, the turn was the so good. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been, it was so much fun to do. We love doing the spoilers, as you can probably tell from. You should let, let us know which one you preferred. Like, did you like compare the the two spoiler videos we've done? Then let us know which one you like the most. Love to hear it down in the. Uh, oh no, it's the, clear winner. The comments. Clear I think I, I I love this one. Like, I we put so much yeah. work into I it. I think and... this was a better spoiler, but that last one was a better card. <laughs> yes, uh, I think, so yeah. I, think, I think what we've worked out is yeah, that Looming Doom was good. That was like Looming a Doom demon sick, destroying yeah. soul. If, we, if we're lucky enough to get another preview, I think we've learned and we're shown that it's not about the card that we get. We want to build a story around it. We want to show the world that card before anyone else, and we want to make the effort to do that. So, mm. thank you, to, uh, thank you to LSS for trusting us with uh, previews, and we hope that that continues. Yeah, hope to get more in the future and continue to do a a, a, a good job, as good a job as we can do. Um, spoiling the card. I, I mean, I watched the um, spoiler on my TV, which was incredibly hype. It was like a cinematic. Yeah, experience. I was like watching watch it on my computer as well. Yeah, just listen, so I just sick. the live chat. Mm. As we were doing it, oh, it was great watching it with the live chat. Actually. It's all yeah. about the live chat. I love the live re- reactions. See, yeah, yeah. It's, it makes it's the whole thing worth it. Anyway, we're talking about Fab. It's, we've got, missed a yeah, bit. We, we can't talk about Fab. It's it's home news. Um, home news. Home news. Home news. <laughs> okay, thank you for the claps. Um, <laughs> Hamish, what have you been up to in your home? God, that's newsworthy. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Um, I don't think I actually have any major home news stuff. Um, no, I actually don't. I, nothing. You don't that... have um. You didn't, you know, end up in somebody's house. You didn't push a car down a hill. Oh, a hill. that was great. Uh, no, it can't really happen every week. You know? no, it no. Can't, no, it can't happen every week. I think I've been really been quite busy, to be honest. It's been mm. it's, it, the spoiler video thing has been quite a lot. I've kind of 
the the, the spoil when the spoilers have came out, it's been quite um a big effort and for content videos. I did a recorded episode with Zach Bunn, which is out there now. Yeah. We've just done some we've done some Fresh stuff episode. with Fano and everything. I've been really busy with content. I haven't actually got anything really exciting apart from I guess Mark, who runs the club, is hurt his back, and we had record numbers of people show up to the club on the one day me and Dale can't be at the club, so we got some people oh, no. who just who play the games. We said, "Can you just set up, throw some tables out? We'll be with you soon." And I walked into the room, and there is twenty six people playing. Amazing. Well, no, that's normal. That's a normal day, but it's and they all just turn around and look, and I said, "Why is everyone look?" Oh. We're all wondering when the person runs this club actually decides to show up, and it's me. <laughs> Great! So that was probably the most exciting thing uh, that's happened. What about you, Simon? Uh, so I have my daughter got some good news. She passed her karate grading, oh, yeah. so we went off to a yeah, yeah. We went off to a grading <laughs> ceremony and got to like be proud parents and uh, and watch her do some what, of her karate. What's uh, what's <laughs> belt color did she get so she's now an in her grading she's an orange belt oh very cool did she is the third belt in her in her system so you've really mm. been like living in ninja land you know in home your daughter's I, doing karate katsu's getting spoiled katsu, dead, dead. You're yeah. Like, yeah you're like oh man so Love much it. but more more um a bit of a retro throwback this weekend just gone i went paintballing with some friends for the first time Ooh. in years oh i hate paintballing <laughs> it was quite a lot of fun actually um uh running around a muddy field shooting bits of paint at each other and trying not to get hit in return they ever done airsoft no but there were some there were some airsoft people there in the same sort of outdoor complex thing and they look like they take it really seriously like oh, they've I've got been. body armor on i've been and they've got like automatic weaponry and it's it's i'd say that the airsoft one is much more of a pleasant experience than the paintball because the paintball one actually really hurts and nothing about it looks quite real whereas the mm. army where's the airsoft ones you kind of just really shooting bb gun bullets at other people and it doesn't hurt nowhere near as much so, yeah paintball pellets really sting yeah they quite suck young. yeah <laughs> yeah Especially if they like whip you, like if they just skim off you. It's yeah. Oh, the bouncy ones are the worst. If they don't splat. Yeah. Yeah. You get, hit, you hit, get hit on the knuckle or something on the hand. It is really painful. Oh. I've not done paper in a really, you know, it's like one of those things you did when you were a teenager or a young adult. Stag dudes. It wasn't a stag dude, but it, no, yeah, it felt like it a bit of a stag dude. Mm. Oh, well. That's well, cool, Simon. Well, well done, there you Simon. Go. <laughs> you got a pace. Trip, what about you? Uh, I've been pretty busy, like Hamish. Like oh, the spoiler was a lot of work. We that was basically just an extra job to do mm -hmm. while we were doing the spoiler, we and work's been pretty busy. Um, had some nice, went out for a nice meal yesterday with some friends. Went for Italian, nice pizza, oh. lots of drinks, which was good. But I've been trying to chill out a bit. I've not been playing a huge amount of Fab. Um, I'm waiting for pre-releases and the skirmish season to start. I've got some plans for. A, a You've got a bit of a busy pre pre release. I've got, weekend, a, right? uh, I've got a plan for some content for Push the Point that's coming up soon, which is going to encompass the pre releases and the mm. the skirmish season. So we'll see how that pans out. So I've kind of just been having a bit of a chill time because I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of <laughs> yeah. tournaments coming up. Uh, so I'm going back to the you know the traveling grind of you know the good thing about being in London is you can go to a lot of different tournaments on the train. The bad thing is that you go to a lot of different tournaments on the train and you have no time so uh welcome enjoying to the, the enjoying the enjoying the down season because <laughs> i don't really play on talishar and i don't really play on tts anymore so i've been just chilling waiting for the waiting for the cards to come out then gonna go pretty hard that's not really home news i'm mainly talking about fab we just we just want to talk right. about fab there's been a lot of stuff going so on you're in the, think, you're in the fab gulag as they say i think we need to <laughs> move swiftly on to the fab lab wait fab lab is the is a fab lab is uh marius's thing yeah um so we need to we need to get to our beers um because i think this one's going to take me a little while to get through so if you watched our um opening video or our token video uh you'll have heard that we had an extra inclusion in the package from Brandon at Metal Fab Tokens, yeah. um, which just had the instruction open and chill. So hopefully, 
all three of us have had our oh it's but mine's been in there, mine's been in there since it's on it's chill. Been a while. <laughs> it's been there a um, little while but the beers tonight are sponsored by brandon at metal fab tokens hamish what are you drinking well same as you and and Trip. are they all the same we've got a ale yeah. smith. Ale smith oh yeah dude Speedway so stout. Speedway so wait, stout. I, yeah, we we'll, won't we'll, we'll reveal. We might have different beers. <laughs> no, uh, we've all no, got the same one. Yeah, we we'll still go same. for it, though. I, but I have got a backup beer as well. Why would you need a backup? So what, because I don't know if I like. Beer. I don't like stout. Stout is your stout. favorite Ooh. beer. I, well, um, I've uh, my backup beer is an Amigos. Uh, <laughs> Is yeah, that like a knockoff it. Desperado? Uh, I think you've had that on the podcast before. No, I've definitely not ever had an Amigos before. Okay, it is a. I can't read it. But it's a tequila flavor beer, and I yeah, it's, it's, it's a knockoff yeah. desperado. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna. So, um, our Speedway Stout by Alesmith Brewery on, in San Rich Diego, California. Coffee. Ugh, this is gonna be. It's an imperial stout with coffee. Mm. Um, now, Trip, have you spotted how strong this is? Yeah. So I opened this up, and I was like. Uh, yeah, I've got the I've got the same beer as, as we've all got the same beer, and I I opened it up and I was like, yeah, stout, that's gonna be great. And then I looked at the, uh, it's uh, it's twelve percent. Yeah, it's a, and it's a pint. <laughs> it's a pint it's of wine. It's a pint of wine. It's just what I thought. So it's, whenever I see that, I was like, okay, but, uh, well we better get, crack on because so this... we know that as an imperial stout, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, full of flavour. In in this... I think it's gonna go down. So it Amish, I like think that. you should. I think you should try it out of the can first because I I think you're gonna. I think it's gonna go down quite smooth. These these these, these, I'm gonna these drink stouts can be okay, really you're drink deceptive, it all. Oh. Oh, even it though they're super like, strong. It looks like vodka and coke. It, it looks does look like, like molasses. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like molasses. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Simon did it. That's how he looked like he did it. <laughs> Wow, so Simon's got a tankard. I've got my as close as I can get to a goblet. Yeah, nice. Um, it does I, say goblet um, on the can. So a fair. huge, huge, huge thanks to you, Metal Fab Tokens, not only for just sending us these beers, for sending us some amazing tokens that we're going to be giving out uh, to our patrons and to people we play with. Um, this guy, he he just sounds like the biggest legend in the world. Like he he oh, just made this stuff for us. Oh, and it's fantastic. So, cheers. This is my favorite bit. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. Right here we go. It looks like a. Oh, dude. That's, this is gonna. That's fuck beautiful. Me up. <laughs> <laughs> that is not twelve percent. Oh. No, you can tell. You can tell. It's got that's the after a, pang um, of a twelve. That's gonna put. That's gonna, it's gonna. This is the kind of beer that puts hairs on your chest. It's gonna I'm put hairs on your chest, Hamish. Tell you. I put bloody shit on my mouth. What is it? <laughs> oh, oh. I say this is a mess. It's it's genuinely really good. It is going to be. Um, it's going to be well loved by two out of three. A, of this the, is going to be a classic podcast. classic episode. I can tell you that. I think the last time I had like I'll a ten percent beer on the podcast, hey, I'm, taking my, about I'm taking my time on this one. I don't think I'll need this. Amigos. Oh, you should take be. your time. Don't oh. drink okay. it too quickly. God, this, right. I'm going to be drunk after this. Sorry for we, yeah, definitely. I we are going to have seven the um, so. we're going to have a bit of a chat about initial impressions of outsiders so far. Um, we're going to drop in a little comment about the ban and restricted announcement, which has dropped uh, today, Monday, thirteenth of uh, March. Breaking news! And then we are wow, going to just run through for us. <laughs> Breaking news, except you're listening on a Friday. So yeah, breaking news. Not breaking news at all. We know normally what happens, and I'm sorry to interrupt. Normally we do this recording on a Monday, and LSS drops news on the Tuesday. So everything we talk about is just yeah. immediately. Uh, it turns out even when they drop it, it's still dead. we're still late to the party. But at least um, we talk and about we're it. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to finish on a run through of which pre-releases each of us is going to, so that. Uh, if you want to come and see us and say hello and maybe pick up a new metal fab token, I'm going to have some tokens come and see us. I, I've, exactly. I've got a bunch of tokens because these guys were at Worlds, so they got a bunch of tokens, the ones that Hamish gave away, and I got a bunch as well. Oh, you've got your actual bunch of tokens. From, from metal fab tokens. So yeah, if, you nice. do, if you do come to it, we'll talk about this at the end, but we will have some tokens to give away, and I can't wait to do that. All right. Yeah, I'm going to lead off because be um, God, that's right. I'm going to be so drunk. Um, so as we just to recap, 
we're going to have the the new gem tokens uh, for our patrons for free, and we'll be selling them otherwise. And Trip will have some extra tokens to give away because he hasn't given any away yet. How much um, are we selling them for? We haven't, we haven't even thought about that. Have we? <laughs> uh, we need to check with Brad. We need to check with Brandon. No, should we just, just do some, well, we just they... do some business chat on the podcast? <laughs> so, uh, how, guys, so um, how's the patron scheme going? I mean, I think mm, yeah. Right, I'm going to lead off um, because I am super excited. I need to order a business again. I want to quit. Uh, um, (laughs) Should we spend another 150 quid on hats? (laughs) (laughs) Even though we have no money. I want beanies. You keep saying this. (laughs) Should we just buy some artwork? Should we we spend like 200 pounds of our own money on artwork? (laughs) Right. It's sustainable. Oh, it's very sustainable. Yeah, it's an investment, right? It's, it's an investment. Sorry, <laughs> hey, so so hang on. If you want to keep your can money, I, can I just roll back to something stupid I said to my mom once when I was drunk? <laughs> she said to me, "Why do you get these fucking tattoos?" And I said, "It is." I said to my mum, "It's an investment," and she still, <laughs> she still comes back to it. How's your investment going? <laughs> I don't know why I said investment. It's the worst investment in the world. Anyway, that's anyway. I don't know why. I, what was I the What was the about. first thing we were going to talk about? Right, I'm going to lead off because I'm super excited about playing my boy Katsu with all the outsiders. About the restricted? Not yet. I mean... Did you not listen? Oh. He didn't listen. Oh, that He's makes too busy a... gagging no, on his, no. his stout. Oh, this stout is fucking great. Mm. <laughs> it is good. Right, it is really nice. Um, okay, so yeah, we've seen all the preview cards. I have. We mm-hmm. have. Uh, we've noticed that Talishar has had those uploaded. People have been playing with them on both Ooh, TTS and Talishar. Is, There's been a bit of this. controversy. Yeah. Um. Which we'll cover first before I go into my excitement oh, for Katsu. Get, I'll get over it. So Controversy. there's been some parts of the community that have questions whether um, these preview cards should be available on Talishar before the release of the set. Now, we're very fortunate, <laughs> I think, to have Talishar, but it's not endorsed by LSS. So I, I can see that some people are saying, well, actually, the excitement is maybe petering out a bit because all the cards are already being played with and there's nothing left to discover when the, the cards are released, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can see both sides of the story. I honestly can. But What's it has been fun. Is, Simon? My opinion is that preview season was too early mm-hmm. and therefore we've had too big a gap. Three weeks between preview season and the release of the set is probably too long. Yep. I so I don't... That. I don't think it's a problem with being on Talishar too early. I think it's that the previews were too early themselves. So, were you asking what my opinion was, Hamish? Yeah, what's your I, opinion? I, I have to because you're on this podcast. Yeah, I mean, oh. I am. Here. <laughs> I'm no, just what saying, is, yeah, I, what I, I don't want to jump the gun, but it, 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 it's, it's sick and... No, it's, it's fine. And um, I think uh, my main issue <laughs> was that... Uh, it's not about the cards because the cards are just going to end up on TTS yeah. anyway. Yeah. So yeah. like, there's nothing you can do. It was more around, and I think this is where people had some genuine, genuine, like genuine issues. Is it's more around some of the interactions not necessarily working yeah. correctly. And I mean, we saw this before with stuff like um, cash in playing through Frostbite, for example, and then people going to tournaments, basically saying this is how cash in works. Cash in is the right one. That's cash out as well. Yeah, it's yeah, cash, cash in. in. Um, this is how cash in works playing through frostbite and being like well it works on talishar turns out that that's not Talishar's how it works wrong. you still have to pay one because uh, it it's an alternative cost um and it's the same with with this and what what we don't want is people playing on talishar then going to their local pre-release and then playing the game wrong i think that's you know we don't want that it's just, well it's we're not lucky we've got talishar to sort of go through it because i can tell you right mm. now if you really if imagine you just took the uh, took these cards home and you played it with your brother or your friend that you come around with. Imagine you both read the cards wrong and played the whole thing wrong the whole time. And then you rocked up into an event and got it all wrong, which happens all the goddamn time. I think there's a lot of emphasis on that little bit that maybe yeah. you should just rock up to armories and just get it wrong, you know, or ask a, you know what I mean? It's, I don't think because it happened on Talashar is but I think a Talashar it's problem, be... but I don't I even think... think that's actually the big problem anyone had is the is how the interactions work i think 
a lot of people were annoyed that the set is playable on Tanisha like now and everyone's like mm. well we haven't even done pre-release and everyone's yeah. doing deck lists and I'm like and I think another thing people were annoyed about was the fact that they would just queue up. they don't want to play the new heroes they just want to go on Tanisha and jump on a public queue and then here's Riptide here's Azuri and it's all they're playing and they're like yeah. why I don't want to be queuing they, up they, to these spoiler cards on a do you know what I mean? There's no way of getting out of it. I can't play a game of what the current meta is because I have to face all these spoiler I cards. They set it up on a. Didn't they set it up on a beer? Like, no, was, no, it was, came. Was it it was, the... You could do it on. There's competitive CC, which I think you can't do it on, and then yeah, there's, well, there's normal there's classic sort of thing, constructed, right? which actually a lot of people go on that to just play their fix and their games because they if you go into competitive cc it is pretty competitive well that, then that's they just need to make it clear don't they that like this is mm. this branch we, we just need branch for new uh, one branch for new cards one branch for casual old cards and one branch for competitive i thought it would have been really, right i think you're both to be honest i agree with i think we're all in kind of really agreeing with the, the whole thing yeah, but if we sound like we really agree, then that doesn't make for good listening. So we all disagree, yeah, but we well, agree. Uh, Simon, I think you're talking hella shit. And let me try and let me say my <laughs> point, which is going to be the same point as nobody, yours. And nobody should look then at tell the cards. Me, no, don't just... look at the cards. Don't read the cards. When yeah. you're opening the cards for the first time, keep your eyes closed. And then build your deck. And then first time you draw a hand, look at those cards for the first time. That's the true <laughs> fab experience. That's what we should be aiming for. Maybe that is how we should do it. We just that's don't the, that's, know. That's my take. That's my take. I'm, yeah. I'm sticking with that. You know. Right. Maybe don't even look at your hands. Just can I just chuck a card in at random and... and just play it down and be like, oh, that's cool. You'd be like this. A pitch. Can I just chuck this? in a, um, another point, just slightly off topic? Can't play that from hand. Virulent touch. Spoiler card or push the point. Check it out. There's Ranger in this set? Oh, God. DQ'd. <laughs> I don't even have a bow. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I like your way, Trip. Yeah. Bl um, blind man's draft. Yeah. Pure, pure, pure fans. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you, you imagine? Got, you got down two. Um, but you got down. Oh, man. I'm going to get drunk on this stuff. Down two. Talk. You've had two sips. You can't even speak. Down two tins of Alesmith. Put a blindfold on and get. And, 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 play, I, and play a I sealed. <laughs> I think I think we've solved this. Can I can I suggest a, a topic Trip. of conversation? What would you that like? Wasn't in the in the thing. Go. There's been another. There's been another thing. And I, if we're talking like Twitter Twitter based fab drama, don't steal my things, point. The other thing that's been going around is um is like market speculation. Right? Oh. Like, Oh what, no, what I, that wasn't my point. You carry what you on. Go, what do you guys think about? Are the, we are we wrapped a, up with Talisha? Yeah, we solved that one. All right, okay. So the only before we move on, before we move on, okay, to go, the next go, go, let's go, 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 up. Um, we also had the Market Magazine reveal the name of the mm. set after Outsiders before, before Outsiders. I think that was a bit. Released. Yeah, I think that was. Actually, I think. Yeah, I think that's a bit door, hasty, right? um, and there are people out there who love Shadow and they love Light as a talent, and now. It's almost like some people are looking past outsiders. They weren't interested in the ranger assassin thing, and now they've gone on to look for light and dark. Yeah, and this it's rolls weird, in. Isn't it? I know light and shadow. Sorry, this rolls into Trip's point. I think yeah, in does. market speculation yeah. because you've now got people specking on legendaries and and majestics from the light and shadow talent, and even before outsiders is released, we've got <laughs> problems. Yeah. We've got problems with. Um, with cards Simon, going it's up a good in time to sell your, It's a good time to sell your Monarch First Ed, mate. Hey, it's still there. Yeah, well, but it was stuff got, like Rainbow Foil. Got my Cold Foil Legendaries. Were, were no, spiky. they're not going up mad. When someone said on, t I saw this on TCG. Is it TCG Player? They said, "Oh my god, it's gone up ten times." And I went, oh, "Let's have a look at uh, card market." Ah, yeah. A, yeah, very, a, a, a very, a very, a very miserable six euros. <laughs> this, is <laughs> like, what gonna, this is what I was going to come come round yeah. to because we we hear a, a lot of on on you know Twitter is very international. We hear about all these prices spiking yeah, yeah, on yeah. TCG. Um, what's it called? TCG TCG player. TCG player. TCG player. 
and like Rainbow <laughs> Full Bottle, <laughs> this is but like Rainbow Full Bottle was like five bucks, and then it was yeah. like fifty bucks. It's like, oh my god, oh my I'm, god, gonna, go I'm, to I'm gonna go through my collections, yeah. stick it on card market, and make a fortune, and then I go on card market. It's like oh. three pounds. I wish I had ten copies of Dead Eye. Well, no, that unfortunately I don't. To, you need <laughs> so to take your Rainbow idea. Full Bolton to America trip because that's yeah, where the real yeah. value 500, is. Five hundred dollars getting a flight. I over. think this is really interesting. <laughs> America is the biggest market for flesh and blood by by any any calculation. Have you seen how big the country is? It's huge. Yeah. Mm. And mm. TCG Player has its own ecosystem. But as mm. some of our European colleagues like Kugain and um, uh, Jotrick have been pointing out on Twitter, the European market is relatively well insulated against those price rises and and it's doing its own more sensible thing. Whether that's because, and if you speak, uh, if you speak about this with uh, Fluke, for example, he gets very annoyed with the term buyout because it's used inappropriately. And um, when there's demand for cards, i.e., the light and shadow cards that people are now trying to buy before the new set comes out, the prices will go up. Mm. That doesn't mean it's a buyout, right? I don't so know what it, I don't know whether it is a buyout. America or seems it to suffer with these fluctuations more than Europe. I think we're very lucky that um, we don't have to deal with some of these crazy price rises here. Well, I'm no market expert, but my understanding is that a buyout is is a, a purposefully done to reduce the amount of stock of a particular cards, yeah. so the price would rise naturally, and then you can drip feed the back into the market yeah. at, at more money that you pay for isn't that what That's happened what... with surgical extraction uh, uh, who, know, well, who knows? no because surgical extraction was so i intentionally think it was... short printed well no it was sorry unintentionally, unintentionally short printed yeah. i think it, i think it was sh and unintentionally short printed and brought out um but a, but a buyout is is a purposeful yeah. market strategy but what we're seeing with the US market is people just desire to own these cards. They're not going out and they're yeah. trying to buy up every single possible card. Yeah. People just want to own something because they know that, you know, Prism's coming back into the meta. So yeah. well, mm. we don't we don't actually we don't know. Uh, we but, do know, sort of, but, but then <laughs> we do but know. Then New Horizons. <laughs> New Horizons at the minute is stupid. The the cost of New Horizons, the Ranger legendary headpiece, is the stupidest price ever. People but that's because that there are 200... new rangers coming through. So, is why why is the new assassin boots not rocketing up? Because why is, why is Mask of Momentum good. not rocking up? Because that it is now actually, but um, because well, it's not, because... not like New Horizons. I I can get a Mask of Momentum for what hundred quid, easy still. A rainbow foil one, yeah, yeah. And the rainbow There's foil a... New Horizons, two hundred quid. Really? I yeah. Should sell mine. It's there's done. a couple of reasons guys uh, firstly because ranger was not very good so right. there's not you know not many so people, people don't have still, those cards buying up, it's very these, good. buying up these cards i don't either but people weren't buying up these cards mask of momentum lots of people have at some point invested in mask of momentum either because they play blitz and they want to play ira yeah. or they want to yeah, play yeah. fi which is really good people already have so the we've, cards we've kind of already seen those cards enter into people's yeah. you know collections mm. and there'll be a lot of people picking up ranger who've never even touched ranger before also, like Tales is quite a long time ago now, and like a lot well, of people so stopped to opening Rafe. Tales. But Welcome to Reef is, you know, it's it's, it's, it's a set that's it, it was around and then it's been opened. Had, it's gone, reopened well, it again. People, that's the first set that people often buy because it's the first set of the game. Like I, I'm not here to um, to 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 pretend I understand how the TCG well, market it, works. Well, it worked on me it, but... because after seeing all this stuff, I was kind. Of, I don't know what happened and what came over me, but I looked at the New Horizons. Time. Yeah. No, I didn't. God no. I ain't touch. I, I was actually considering playing Riptide. Now I've seen how much that is. I'm like, well, right. it's going to make it. Six, not. I'm not buying it. Simple six as that. months ago, you could have bought a crossbone. Uh, I've got cross one. Whatever, whatever it's called. The the Ranger headpiece, the old Ranger headpiece from Art for fifteen pounds. Now it's eighty quid. I've got. And one. The only reason is that it's because people are specking on Azalea being really good. She it's is like the worst possible right. time to be purchasing now, a yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, well, who knows? Well, I went and brought a cold foil Arachne and both of his cold foil spider bite weapons. Because um, I don't think he's I don't, I don't think he's very good. Because you woke up one morning and yeah. you chose Madness. You looked at Arachne and you decided, oh, that's going to be the best hero. No, you chose Chaos. Serious. I, yeah, I, um, and I everyone don't know was why. saying, Hamish, no, please, no, don't. What are you oh, doing? Oh, no, I said I'm going to pat myself on the back later. 
but not right yeah, now. Sure. This is going to, you know, Arachne was 18 quid, and both of the cold, the promo weapon and the dynasty one left and right, 20 quid for both. Plus, and okay, that's that's fine then. So I paid 38 pound for a cold hero and both his cold for weapons. To me, I was like, ah. That's good. That's pretty good. Especially, especially new cold foils with the full cold foil on the artwork. They are, yeah, they are really, yes. really good. Absolutely. Where's I, the new? I don't know whether Arachne is going to be Where good, but I actually, after all of this outsider stuff, I've considered to buy the hero from the last set. <laughs> yeah, really I mean, I, I've I've given up understanding what you want to play. No, like, me. So, you know, you go. You, right. You're boltoning. It, it's on a whim. Win, you know, but you Viscerai. He's going to end up back. playing Viscerai. Oh, of course, again. I will end up being playing Viscerai. Um, you'll play. You'll play Arachne, and then you'll you'll rage off it. Yeah, of course play, I will. Uh, I've already done Viscerai it. I already ha- I had a game on Talishar today, and went. That was nope. a waste of money. <laughs> but the surgical extraction is definitely putting me off. Actually, jumping into this, and yeah, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to. God, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be saying this, but I. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Dust Till Dawn. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to be like, oh, I get, to, I get to... Because you're back on Shadow Room, boy. I said to, or light I said to my brother... I'm going to ignore yeah, the rest. Well, no, I, I, I reckon I could pick up the stuff real cheap anyway. But no, I said to my brother, have you got rid of your Rainbow Foil husk? And he's like, no, has it gone up loads? No, no, no. Uh, no I just need it. I just <laughs> need, need it for it. no reason whatsoever. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Anyway, shall we... why you should never sell cards, because right. you can... <laughs> I've so, still yeah, that. I've still got I think there's lots going on. Anyway, yeah. But do you know what strikes me as positive about all of this is people are We're talking about the game. People are talking about the game. And That's that crazy. can only be a good thing. How old is the game now? Four it's years? Through th- well, four years in October. It came out in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Four years in October. So would you say the Monarch is... is the actual release? I know the actual release was twenty nineteen, but I think the game's like the game launched worldwide. internationally yeah. in this country in December 2020 with Welcome to Wraith Unlimited. Mm, okay, I thought so it was when Monarch dropped. No, Crucible of War was. No, I uh, thought when Monarch dropped, that's when it like went. Here we are. Here, you well, know what I mean. Welcome to Wraith Unlimited a... was kind of like yeah, here we right. go, and then Monarch was the drop. We're dropping, right. and then everyone went. Bah. That's when they increased the print numbers massively. Yeah, and that was first aired, and you know that's why the whole thing went berserk because it was kind of yeah. like, here we are, Monarch. Well, it went berserk because you could you could buy a box of crew for eighty quid at retail and then flip it for three hundred quid. I think that got a lot of people interested. Right? Yeah, I and I remember buying. <laughs> I remember buying a box. <laughs> I keep saying this. I bought a box of crew just for the box topper, and then went. Yeah, no, I've any. I thought, God, this box is shit. All I got was cold foil, crater fist, and um. Uh, Courage of Blade Hold. I said to my brother, it's a pretty all right box. The like Creative Fist is like what? 40 quid? Courage of Blade Hold's what? Yeah, yeah. If I uh, say so I broke even, I guess. They're both cold fours. You got two both, cold fours in the box. Both of them in one box. Oh, of cru- yeah. Goodness. And I went, oh, this oh. box is this box is average, I guess. And then four days later. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, courage was like five hundred, six hundred pounds. I didn't sell it for that much. Some guy got a fucking bargain. Oh anyway, no, I bought, the, I bought the money. Oh, God, I had an old video. Quid. I literally had all the no room yeah. in cold foil. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, oh, anyway, well. so it sold it. Moving on from market speculation. Can't even see it anymore. <laughs> next, next topic. Next topic. Oh, yeah, next sorry. topic. Next topic. Was... Yeah. I was just going to talk about. Um, Can we talk about the random restriction announcement? The random restriction announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. What's oh. new? Let me guess. Let Breaking me guess. News. Let me guess. Nothing Come changes. On, I, you can I, do I, it. I told you what was it. What it was. Oh, was I wasn't listening. Changes. So there you were. You said, "Don't tell me." Oh, why did you tell me? Oh, when I told you. Well, nothing changes. <laughs> nothing changes. <laughs> changes. Blitz. They've decided they're happy with the meta. Nothing changes. Well, nothing in Blitz either. Welcome in Blitz, to guess what? What nothing, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Welcome to um, the olden meta, everybody. <laughs> Ether Ice Vein in Blitz is still under review, but it is still suspended. Fine, whatever. No one's just shit about Blitz. Um, so I do. I love Blitz. You know what's right? Move, <laughs> right the the, the, blah, 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 blah. the um, ban and restrict amount announcement was also accompanied by a tweet. Um. 
they're giving away participation prizes for the battle hardened in Baltimore. They've listened to oh, the community. Oh my really? God. What, what is the battle hardened? So if you the... play in the battle hardened, you will get a trio of rainbow foil extended art toxicity. Oh, well, that's, that's right. pretty cool. That's great. A, yeah. a red, a yellow, and a blue. Ah, oh, well done, Alice. That's yeah, good, I think yeah, that is a good deal. Finally, it is <laughs> worth something. showing up to it. <laughs> and then if you lose round one in this 400-player event, at least you got your toxicity got chosen. And I find the card very ironic. <laughs> toxicity, yeah. I still... Toxicity in the city. To- no, toxicity in a battle hardest event. <laughs> let's you... let's talk before we move on to that let's let's talk about no changes in the band the restricted list because oh, I mean, I we yeah no 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 well there is actually something i think there is a point is to be made yeah 100 percent. so yeah we'll be trip well i was just gonna say like i think personally i don't think you should make any band and restricted changes or any dramatic band and restricted changes before, uh, before I, a new set comes out i agree it's a I brand agree. new meta i do still think that we they do need to keep an eye on mm-hmm. crown of seeds. Yeah, <laughs> just I, in in particular, I I I do think there are new tools, and like Simon was, you know, if you watch our deck tech on Katsu, that's probably out by the time you watch this. We 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 talked a little bit about how, you know, Katsu's got access to a lot more recursion now, and and has some more tools to fight Oldham, and a few other heroes are going to have more tools to fight Oldham, but. And they printed this new legendary that technically stops the prevention from Crown of Seeds if you pay one. Yeah. But I still think you need to keep an eye on that card because it's not so much about the prevention, it's also about the deck cycling. And I honestly... Five card hands. I don't, blocking hands. I don't know whether Outsiders actually deals with the power level of what Tales of Aria brought still. I think, yeah. I think Outsiders is a very fun set i think that there a lot of the cards in this are actually really exciting really balanced it's not broken it's not wild i think the whole thing is like really cool but the problem i think we're facing with this is that tales of our was quite a what like a very busted. well it was cracked as fuck <laughs> in the plot in a in a over way of saying it we, we, yeah we've, we've it, spoken about this of course times, but, but yeah. it's still here right what's the best thing about outsiders lexi lexi has got some insane more insane uh, stuff from outsiders no claim. i don't claim. think no no i don't has. think lexi is the winner from outsiders no i'll be honest katsu is the bloody no, winner okay so if you're going to contain it to the heroes of outsiders yes i think katsu is definitely a high uh, winner. I, and azalea mm, is also a very I would high contest winner that azalea is the winner yeah I, she's, she's been these, powered these, up these, these blues that Fi's got, man, you're gonna, you're gonna be. <laughs> you wait, you wait until you see you this wait. Blue package. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, oh, but blood. like Lexi. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm joking a bit, Hamish. Like, obviously, Lexi has got some really, really good, good tools. But I, I think we just got. We should. We, we, we could. We could talk about that in a second. I think that's a yeah, really good yeah, point. Yeah. Like, what's got the best out of outsiders? But on your point, of again, Oldham. like we've said this before, we're still seeing Oldham um with access to this incredibly powerful card and and just incredibly powerful cards coming out of tails and i i i completely agree with no changes i do I want to it. sorry i drank it all. says to keep an eye oh on the goodness, meta you got through that already Horrible. i'd really like to not see another olden meta mm. um uh, you know like olden should you know be what I'm a good worried deck, about? is that but... we will yeah i mean there, just, there's it's... he's also got which is the wildest thing is the uh what's the card that uh team covenant spoil the two costs prevent oh, yeah. for get upon the token yeah i'm like yeah. oh it you... was literally the first card spoil wasn't it it was one of the first it was like very it was pre spoiler season that card came out and i think a lot of people went no oh, two a two to block for a race is, is pay one to block for and then everyone then twigged on the token Oh, that's a really strong thing, isn't it? Yeah, Ponder tokens, Ponder tokens are ridiculous. They are strong. ridiculous. So, uh, peace of mind. Is peace of cool. mind. That's the one. So, two costs. Next time you would be dealt damage this turn, prevent four of that damage. Create a Ponder token. So it's it's kind of tidy. Like it's 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 so mm-hmm. tidy for Oldham. It's oh exactly, yeah, you just like crown a seed and then play that. If Oldham well, could yeah. design prevent a card, five. they would probably design that. Yeah, Pre- prevent <laughs> like... five. It literally prevents five arcade. Oh, the they have Oasis Respite, 
and now this. I don't honestly understand how mm. anyone's yeah. getting through anything. Like, an olden doesn't even need to play this stupid fatigue stuff. Why would you put in a defense react when you could just play this? You've got, it's, it, the cost curve. you can curve, only put three of them in. Oh, yeah, no, but you've got Oasis Respite. He's now got more cards that fit yeah. this really lovely cost curve of all of his equipment and everything. And it's prevent, which is doing arcane and physical damage. It's like yeah. it's now rolling into a much better defensive package. And they got that in this set. Oh, he yeah. doesn't run Oasis Rest by a standard, though. I thought he I thought he would. Why wouldn't he not? You literally we don't just, know. No, but, you could uh, literally just crown a siege, rampart, oasis, respite in. Ultimately, one it's card. a really good tool for Oldham, who's top of the meta at the moment, and it did feel yeah. like quite an odd. Like it's obviously a really cool card for um like uh, outsiders sealed, like draft and sealed. Like having prevention is really interesting for. Uh, gen there's generic prevention so that you can shut down a dominated attack is really cool for sealed, but it just feels like it's a, an additional tool for Oldham. But we'll we'll wait to see how that pans out. And I am I am I will say I'm one. Of these very flipping strong cans in, I love to be proven wrong. I, I actually implore, I hope I listen back to this and say, Hey, Miss, you are wrong, you're an idiot. I actually win both ways. I, I can be I'll right with that, or be completely wrong. And I'll, being wrong means that the meta is a lot more better. But I think these inertia, I think, well, a lot more better. I know that's the can talking. I think inertia and blood rock pox is actually two very. Strong tokens that I think actually will make a bit more of an impact against Icelander and Oldham than we think. It's a matter of can they get them enough yeah. to really make an impact, and that's yet to be seen. And if it doesn't, then yeah, I think they just turn around and go, "Cool, we don't care because you're playing too fair, and we're not." Simon, what was what? What else were we going to talk about? I've completely forgotten the order because I've just been jumping in with other ideas. Yeah, we've but, um, we've gone off piece a little bit. That's fine because I think we've had some valuable styling. discussions. Um, I can't stop touching it. By the way, touching what? My new tokens. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're so oh, tactile. Oh. If you're listening <laughs> on Spotify, you got to get on the YouTube videos. They're so tactile. Um, mm. so we were going to just run through our initial impressions of Outsiders. Um. I thought we in kind a couple of, of did, didn't we? In a couple of yeah, we can link back each. to what you were saying, yeah. Hamish. We can pick up exactly. that conversation that you were saying about like which heroes got like oh, done yeah, the best yeah, out of that side. Yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. you could pick that what you're saying. Okay. So you were saying Lexi. Um so I so outsiders in general, I think that we've actually managed to get um a draft set that it looks incredibly exciting. Like yeah. really, really, yeah. really exciting. I had a little play around with it um on draft fab it was not it didn't really work so we didn't really know what 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 what, what worked and what didn't because but which then makes pre-release a lot more exciting as well but just kind of that first sort of idea have a look at what is these cards looking like when you're picking mm. it it looks so 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 exciting um the heroes to me are very very cool very fair, very balanced. Riptide's new ability is sick. Uh, Azuri's swapping in cards look really, really cool. Katsu's boring as fuck, but that's just me. I am going to draft the hell out of Katsu. The best I thing about me. Katsu is Dishonor. I love that he Dishonor has sick. actually... You say what? Fi made me appreciate Katsu. I will say that. Yeah, we had this conversation. If you've watched the deck tech that yeah. and Simon did, we, we briefly touched on like how how LSS should design an aggro deck. And we were just saying how in terms of Katsu's design as an aggressive deck is infinitely better than Fi's design mm -hmm. as an aggro deck. You and can see that Fi is that. beta Katsu. Like, you know what I mean? You can tell that he was well, Fai, the first Fai, idea Fai's, of Katsu. Fi is, e is easy mode. It's in the same kind of vein as Ira, right? It's it's plus one a turn and lots of go again. Yeah, but that's and what then... he did, didn't it? They're like he yeah. designed, Fi was the very first hero kind of yeah. like made flesh and blood in terms of go again and all this sort of yeah, stuff gotta go fast right? and you can tell actually because it is just simply that it is yeah. just is that and i think katsu is the like oh what happens if we actually put something a little bit more deeper in yeah. into it and, I, and and yeah i agree after watching i do his thing seeing katsu stuff is actually like you know what you know what i'd probably 
if I was to play a ninja, I would play Katsu. Yeah, it's like there's, there's always going to be an aggro deck in the game. Like that's kind of like what you want from your aggro. Is is a bit more depth than mm. you got to have combo but... cards. They've got to match. So yeah, well, I mean that's my that's my that's my take. I think it's really cool that Azalea has actually been read. It is actually finally after Arcane Rising, Crucible of War, uh, Tales of Aria, Everfest dynasty and now outsiders we've got six sets and she's now playable well i think it shows no, we've got like, more than six what? no no six sets that is specifically that have range that cards. has ranger cards in it she's now okay. got six sets and she's now like okay now you, you're now playable and unlike prisoner and he took two or chain and he took one <laughs> set and it was it, insane it, it, it but, I, if, if you give a hero like at start of game, draw and play a card with a effect, which is what quivers are. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. and that, and I think that's like really interesting design space for the game going forward. Like, I think LSS needs to be really careful. Like, they could kind of do it with Ranger because they recognize that Ranger without a weapon is kind of at a slight disadvantage to all other heroes that have. But they've also done weapon. it with Dash, right? I mean, well, Dash can. Take any item out of a deck and play it at the beginning yeah, of the game. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's similar. It's similar. It's similar design space. Yeah, but I think the quivers. It, it, it's opening up a direction for the game, which is really, really cool, but really, really risky. Where it's like you're giving a hero essentially five equipment pieces, and obviously it doesn't block, but it, it has a. It, if it has an effect. Better, I'd rather a a, a a passive effect like we see on cards like Mask of Mansum. Well, there's better. also a number of quivers. There's a common there's a majestic and there's a legendary right yeah so there's a token yeah one, they do different things they one. do different things the majestic one. Um, I, th and, I think so one, of, one of them puts an aim token on your arrow when you put it face up in your arsenal yeah, one of them deck. from your deck from... so this is azalea it's just the azalea yeah, it's from azalea. anywhere I think. no 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 it's, it's an azalea deck. one it's, it's, so, it's from yeah. it's it's from it? deck. It's the Azalea okay. specialization. So it's, yeah. you can pay one. Uses her hero ability. Um, to... One of them allows you to look at the top card of your deck. If it is an arrow, you can put it in arsenal once per game. Um, yeah. once per game, and the legendary one is basically remembrance, right? Well, yeah. sort of pitch three, put three arrows with different names into your deck once, you know, and then destroy the it. Shuffle. But yeah, it's they're, good. They're interesting. Free, like, they're all, they're as, all good. As Fano would point it out, it's free real estate. Exactly. It is, yeah. Exactly. It's a free there's no downside yeah. to playing yeah. a quiver. That's that's why weapons are so strong, because it's 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 just it's 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 a it's a thing in any other card game it would be like start up game, draw and play, right? Which is which yeah. is always incredible. I, I like, would I think oh, go on. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead. What were you saying? I was gonna say, um I'll wrap up my sort of point really. Um Assassin needs a hell of a lot more work, and I think Daniel, which you would have seen in our long video if you may have missed it it's quite long but he made the best point about ranger that they've got to be very mindful about what's coming up because riptide and quite a few cards like Ray rain razors from ranger are starting to have these kind of unlimited effects going on so whenever riptide is like oh whenever you play a card just put a card in arsenal anytime you want there's no there's no barrier rain razor end of turn it's, they're starting to actually creep into the world of i think there could be a really dangerous horrible combo coming up where they just yeah. go no matter what here we go and um that's i thought it was a very interesting point i don't think we're there but i think in yeah. going forward there's actually well, a quite an we... interesting point because rangers trying to we... desperately power up yeah. to the point of where you actually you might lose a bit of control over it Anyway, that's it's what point. we saw. It's what we saw with the um. We always talk about it, but the Polish nationals top eight. Yeah. With the with the Azalea combo that they were trying to build. Yeah. And it's three like, of a kind. Ima draw. Imagine Azalea with being able to yeah. when you play a card from hands, put a card in Arsenal, right? Like. Yeah. It's kind of oh, cool. Riptide. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, yeah. it's kind of cool, right? Like, uh, maybe it's a uh, maybe it'll be a thing. And I, and I agree, Hamish. Like, we see it with you know force of nature in briar where it's kind of been our the, our main go-to point for you know mm. in, it's not an infinite but it's you know end of turn dom, dom af right draw. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it when it pops off and we just want to be a little bit careful you know rain raises it's a once you know one turn yeah. chat about heroic basically right so yeah pretty much um when you think about it so um 
Simon, what you know, obviously you're a Katsu player, like yeah, it's, it's so basically we talk your a, birthday, really. When you think we talk it. a lot in uh go and have a look at our deck tech if you haven't already on Katsu. It's my initial impressions on the the lay of the land for ninja in outsiders. I'm really happy playing Katsu with outsider cards. I, I love it. It's fun. Um playing against Azalea is very tough, I will admit, but everything else seems very manageable and I don't think Katsu will be S tier, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to play. So um, my overall impressions of the set from the from the cards I've seen so far are a bit more work. I don't think it's going to be a couple to be relevant. Just yet. Sorry, YouTube. Um, <laughs> Ranger have, um, Rangers have, have improved a considerable amount, and I think Sorry, you, uh, you, you might have yeah, to say your points the... again, Simon. Oh dear! Just quickly, sum it you, up. you just said like Rangers improved a considerable amount, and obviously your hardest matchup at the moment with Katsu is is Azalea. So it's kind of like yeah. you're probably going to see an influx of Azalea into the meta, which mm -hmm. is obviously going to impact the success of Katsu. I think that's pretty fair, but that's just, just flesh and blood, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We, it just depends. Wants... It just depends on how Rangers do into. Guardian and Iceland. Yeah, pretty much. If 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 Azalea can't deal with Oldham, dead. dead. Well, well, uh, to be honest, is... they don't deal with Dromai. This is what I was gonna. This is what I was gonna say. We've got you know. I mean, we literally talked at the start about how it, it may have been. You know, it, it's kind of a shame that we know that Dustal and because we know that how Azalea like Prism is coming. Azalea do when Prism comes back, and you know what is was traditionally really fun in Prism. Uh, Katsu and Ninja because Kadachi is pretty good at killing um, Spectra. Like, who even knows if we're going to get Spectra, like, properly get Spectra back? Oh, of course like, we're going to yeah. get Spectra back. I mean, it was, yeah, just maybe not in the same in. way. Like, we're just going to be the reprint prism. It's like, she back, baby. Like, we, uh, we, we, honestly, you know, I, wouldn't be, I would not be shot if they just turn and go, I don't care. I'm just going to put it's, Iris it's, in. <laughs> <laughs> Luminaris 2, Electric Boogaloo, and it's just like, yeah, it's just, it's just Luminaris. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put the MFS Spectra in. Prism comes back. Put the, you had uh, your Prism fun. comes back with Iris on her card. That is her hero ability. <laughs> she yeah. is, I still, I genuinely think we're going to see uh, Prism is the aura. Uh, like, Prism I is know. the aura. I don't think Prism we're going to see it. Makes think, anyway, we, should, we shouldn't be talking about Dust Till Dawn. <laughs> no, this is exactly right. Anyway, what? My my this thoughts on um, Outsiders is is kind of to that vein, which is I'm really excited for a new Ninja. I think Katsu is really fun. I'm probably still going to keep playing Fi because I like Fi and it's easy. It is, it's easy and it easy does a lot mode. of damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you've what about the, Outsiders? Uh, Stop talking about you, Uprising. You've got to watch the Happy Souls, Dark Souls video if you haven't to get that reference. Um, but uh, I think that uh, Katsu is super fun. I cannot wait to play tons of draft because it mm. looks so much fun. Oh, yeah. Six heroes is really exciting. I always loved. Um, uh, I I didn't do a huge amount of draft arcane rising, but we did do a lot of sealed, and I always loved um, doing Azalea sealed. It was so much fun to play Azalea, um, and Azalea was kind of good in sealed, like because of the recursion arrow. Obviously, we don't have that in Outsiders, but I'm really excited to play Azalea again. Azalea is just cool, right? She's yeah. a cool hero. Like I think. Ultimately, the heroes in the set are Dark really cool. <laughs> like, they are every, cool. They're, they're really cool. cool. Like, I will... Irrespective of the gameplay, like, look at this dude. He's a fisherman pirate. Yeah. What, what, who, I'm, no one's mentioned, no one's mentioned, no one's mentioned Azuri. No one's mentioned Azuri. What should, you know, it, does, does that... Oh, Azuri is so cool. Yeah, I love Azuri. Um, is that, is that your story? <laughs> is, that, is, that your, uh, is that your PR Sorry, statement? <laughs> I got distracted because I, I can see your wife got holding our food in the distance in the back behind you. Oh, <laughs> oh well, they can't the, in um, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I just got distracted. Hold on. So pizza on, is Faye. being brought in. She's coming stop, on into YouTube. To stop oh. Hamish from getting... She's in a dressing gown, everyone. He's giving me pizza. She's offering pizza. <laughs> I'm trying to Homemade shout about Azuri pizza. and I see pizza oh, being waved oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hamish has got Hamish pizza in his lap. Oh, he's, he's drunk as a skunk. Hamish just made me homemade pizza and I just dropped it on the floor. He just drops on the floor. Yes. Carry on. I've now can stop talking because I can. Um, the, yeah. I think Azuri's lore is fantastic. Yeah. Like the yeah. theming around the set is fantastic. 
the stories are fantastic but azuri and assassin haven't quite got it yet in my opinion i'm i'm happy to be proved wrong i think azuri is going to clean up early in drafts and sealed i think people are just going to be like no idea what's going on and then they just die because something gets swapped in and gg right but like you know she comes in for three you don't block she comes in for seven you die right i think people are going to pick up on it really quickly and i i think it just doesn't quite do enough damage to beat things like catsuit you know honestly the hero i am most excited about in uprising draft is benji don't like say Benji, Benji, Benji feels don't like say Benji. Ben, no, because we know what Katsu does. Like we, 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 we know what Katsu is all about. Benji, I think, has the most um, I think Benji can, is either going to be incredibly bad, or someone's going to crack Benji, and then suddenly it's like, oh my god, Benji's insane because Benji's kind of Ira with seven uh, benji is kind of balanced ira really like it's plus one if you hit which you're gonna hit in, in draft and seal um don't you forget attack, i don't right? know bro. On 17 health yeah. 17 health is really bad yeah it's really bad i don't really know bad. bro i think i think benji is the um is the dromai of uprising it's the lexi of tales of aria it's the levier of 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 monarch if you can play oh, it well, you can't put Dromai in the same bucket. Dromai was the hardest in. hero. Oh, the hardest to play. Okay. Yeah, the one. The, yeah, no, not bad. So bad. <laughs> of course not. But like if <laughs> you've, you've seen Matt Fox gets, go and went six yeah. and zero in UK Nats with Lexi. Yeah, because it, no one played Lexi. Exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> the then, only there's one some people the with Dromai who did up. incredibly well. Well, Dromai was great. Dromai. Yeah, and it, it, Dromai had two for eight. He's actually complex for a hero that says he's got unblockable damage. His card pool is tight. It yeah. is so dependent on, these, on certain on things. Hedge out yeah. line as well. Yeah, like, you need the, the right line stuff. In, you can scuff it so insane. hard. You Otherwise, just go head jab into the one. You know, you, you go for head jab. You're playing Katsu against Katsu. You go head jab. They don't block. You come in with the, you know, the the one where if it hits, they have to put a card on top of the deck. Now yeah. coming in for four instead of three. Like that's that's. It's not what Katsu wants, it's right? Like, it's it's, it's legit. legit. Like, and I think it's really, really cool. I, I, when I saw that Benji was in this set, I was like really disappointed because I was just like, just, just make a new young ninja. Like, it'll be fun. But There's they lots of like young ninjas, right? But I, I'm, I'm willing to give Benji a chance. Like, I know people hate his design because it's unblockable damage, and it's kind of like it, the arcane damage of like he was the yeah. You well, Briar has he, that, um, and um, and. and, and um, and Icelander had it unblockable damage. I don't remember. Don't forget. You kind of yeah, but they also had that a, um... with, in, with. They also had that with um, Briar and Icelander. They had this equipment that goes. Oh, you could stop it, and you've got to have certain yeah. cards to stop it, but you can't really stop it. But it's actually quite hard to do. Yeah. God, wasn't it crazy that Rosetta Thorn was in? <laughs> wasn't it crazy sealed. that? <laughs> You know, well, like in it was in there. Oh, it was sealed. Sometimes you, you, sometimes was you just forget the Rosetta okay. Thorn is a bloody token in in a draft format. Oh. That they were like, "Yeah, ship, ship it, <laughs> ship um, Rosetta Thorn in a draft format." All right, anyway, ship, um, <laughs> Dustblade, ship it, yeah, ship it. <laughs> like Dustblade, like it's a majestic shore, whatever. But like, no, Dustblade was broke. Yeah, I know it was broken, but it wasn't. In, it was like not going to come up in every draft game. Like Rosetta yeah. Thorn is did. literally every draft. I'll tell game, you what, right? even if you even if it showed up in a draft, you wouldn't take it because. Like Rosetta is way better. It's really hard to build a deck around it, yeah. Yeah, was yeah. Um, like maybe, no, you would. You, you right. would. No, you would against Oldham. Yeah, you. you, you, you oh no, against Oldham. Yeah. Yeah. I don't you, know. You, anyway, you, you well, you outsiders. <laughs> okay, Hamish, give me a one-word impression of outsiders. One word? No, three words, dude. Three words. Three words. All right, three words. Really good draft. Bold, because we have no idea, but. We said this about uh, up there, uh, uh, yeah. No, we did not say this Up-ri- about uprising. Uprising was dreadful. Um, I think <laughs> uprising was okay. No, it's, it's um, all right. It just got boring. It was on too long. Trip. Three words. I'm going to say excited for Benji. <laughs> what? Because I am. I'm most excited about Benji. I'm. But I'm really. I'm. I'm really excited. For Benji. Simon. You can tell I've drank almost a pint of wine that my I'm excited about Benji. That's what you need. Dark brooding <laughs> law. What? Dark like, brooding law. Yeah. Can we take a minute to just say that the the law has improved 
considerably. Dramatically. <laughs> and like, I love the law. Um, I do think it kind of went off in a direction that I wasn't super positive about, but they have 100% brought it back. And I Bring think it it's back. really good. Especially. Can I just say about the butt thing? Yeah. Talk about the butt. The butt controversy. But Did you... If, you don't, if you don't know the context, uh, they wrote a backstory for Azuri. And it was kind of a weird thing where she it just describes her basically pinning her a butt for some reason. So she turned around and she sat on the guy so she can stab her knife into his groin and tear it up to his abdomen, right? Yeah, yeah. classic. But everyone, right? We've all been there, lads, haven't we? Right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it once. I, I, I was going to say, I didn't see that on Fig Taxi. No. <laughs> No, the whole the whole bit was like, oh my Lovely. god, there's so much gore. He's like gutting him up here and then slicing his eye out there and ripping his ear off there. And everyone went, "They said, but and no, 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 that's no, no, not listen. Yeah. I know. No, they no, said, no, 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 no let, Simon, let Hamish dig his own grave. No, yeah, yeah. Go, they turned around and said that she turned around and 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 I think he said her butt sat on the guy to pin him down. And then, don't get me wrong, I saw the word butt, and I did thought to myself, oh, okay, um, I've never actually thought, I've never actually heard anyone say they use the word butt to sit on someone. But then I was kind of like, uh, what does that mean? Oh, right, so she sat in there, and then, and then I carried on reading, and I was like, yeah, all right, that'll do. And then it's everyone 100... on Twitter went and went, that's really weird. No, and I was like, f- firstly, e- everyone on Twitter didn't care. Like, no, the there, was people people did, there was some people that did. was there was some people. It's all about the a... word, dude. It's all about the word. It's but, like you were. Re- it like the quality of the writing of that story was incredibly strong. And, and then they it, use and the word it's but. all about tone. And it, a single word is all it takes to bring you out. It's like it's like you're reading. Fair, all right, I, imagine I agree if you're reading Lord of the Rings and Gandalf was just like fucking hell. What's going on here? Then you just be like. <laughs> God, this is really well written, but that really brought that really brought me out of the moment, Gandalf. Like, <laughs> fucking hell, fly, you fools! And you just like, no. Gandalf. No. I mean, no. I recognise the point, but you don't. You know, it's not quite in your character to talk it's, in such a way. It's exactly. Right. Right. So, I mean, what were you? What were you oh, hell, what's the, whole article, <laughs> the whole article was really like, I would say it was well written and very. Um, I'm glad this pizza very descriptive of what was going on and i thought the majority of it was fantastic like there was a fight scene there was a bit of chat there was a fight scene uh, there was a resolution and the bit that just described how she pinned a guy to the floor with her butt and then it's gutted the word. him it's just the word all they, all they needed how to words say would you describe it him and gutted like, I, I mean i think dead summer art basically rewrote yeah, the the passage for them and it sounded great and it and ultimately, this is a you know we're working with a we're working with a high fantasy setting, right? Like it, and and you know when we're reading Viserys backstory and it's it's dark and brooding, <laughs> and, and then right then really he cool. goes, "What the fuck's going on here?" Can you imagine? It's like uh, and Viserys, he sat his butt down on the bench and thought about how sad he was. You'd be like, oh, kind of brought me out of the moment there, right? <laughs> and then this, and then Arathio comes through the window and with the money like, thing. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and when no, Viserai decided to windmill no. his dingaling. Sup, nerds? I'm coming from Arathio to fuck you guys up. You're like, no. okay, Sup, okay, uh, sir, calm down. I uh, it's just gone. Um, uh, right, I, I, this I'm, I'm beyond. I'm gone. <laughs> that, that, we we, that we really do need to probably while. wrap this up. Um, no, okay. let's keep going. No, Just we can't. No, I can't <laughs> have three videos of an hour and a half. Hamish, long. Hamish, I'm going to apologise now. Right, you're while welcome. you're drunk, what? Because I've been flipping these tokens and like it's been picking it up on the mic every time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, yeah. It's not my problem. You're the one that's going to sound shit. So anyway, okay. so... Um, anyway, so right. thank you for listening. First, no, 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 no. Oh, we, God. We, stop. What? We're not wrapping Sorry, up. Man, what more? Hey, oh, which, which, which pre-releases are we going, going to? Going to? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hey, yes, that is important. So I am going to the Mana Screw pre-release in Northampton. And yes, I will light a candle for the sadness of why Mana Screw and Kingdom Gaming, or any store in Northampton, 
is not getting an RTN. That <gasps> baffles me beyond belief. Is that confirmed? It is confirmed. From the stores? Yeah. No That's RTN in Northampton. The home of flesh and blood in the UK, Northampton. Oh. Unironically, it's where it all started. Castle would, uh, would... Well, no, okay. Well, if there was two places, I would say Northampton and Living Realms kind of fair, were the seeds. Yeah, Living Realms too. Yeah, yeah, we were, in, we, we were definitely yeah. the rumblings at the beginning. I mean, like, yeah, an well, RTN is really weird, and I don't agree, and I think it's shit. But I will be going to Mana Screw's pre-release, and I'm very excited for it. What about you, fantastic. Simon? So I will be doing two pre-releases. Mm. I'll be going to Greedy the Boy Underworld Games pre-release on Friday. Oh, good and store. The Church of the D20 pre-release Ooh, on the nice. Sunday. Oh. Oh, okay. Let us know what that's like. I've is that a church? Um, it is not a church. It is not in a For church. For God's sake, this audio, bloody madness. I'm not editing it. Yeah. All right, that's It's pathetic. not a church. <laughs> Trip. <laughs> what are you Sorry, doing? Uh, yeah. Sorry, going, so right. it's not a church. That's all I wanted to know. Trip, what is your... Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm going to three pre-releases. Why? Maybe even, Sorry. Maybe even four. Why? I can push it in. Why do you well, want to get to three quarters of a box? So I may be, because I may be doing a new series for Push the Point. Oh, yeah. People who have that listened this far, I'm, I am bringing back the sealed only so series that I did on Finals Library for Push the Point. So I'm okay, starting I'm off with the pre releases. So that's why I want to go to so many, because that means I get to open lots of product. Uh, I'm going to Rule Zero on Friday. I'm going to Dark Spirit on Saturday. And I'm actually going to Bad Moon Cafe on Monday. Uh, believe it or not, and I'm potentially going to South End on Sunday if I feel like it. But I'm also going out to the birthday of the man who did the voice acting for our spoiler, Alex. Hey. Uh, Alex Wood again. Apologies, Alex, because I spelt your surname incorrectly in the video. Uh, it's Wood, not Woods. So if you're looking to get Alex to do some voice acting for you, it's Alex Wood. But I'm going to his birthday on Saturday night. So Can you get him a beer from us that you're well, paying for? I just wanted to shout Alex out because I offered to pay him for the voice acting work. And he said, just buy me a pint instead. So I will there be buying go. him that pint on Saturday night to thank him for the voice acting work. I did. cannot. I, I, he was a, I just oh, have a, a nuts man. Oh, he was so I have good. such an appreciation, a new appreciation for voice acting since mm -hmm. we heard both of uh, Kate and Alex's work. It's just incredible. You thought you'd yeah, have a go, I, right? You think, and even I you thought... You think I could do I, that? Well, I could have a go, right? Oh, I, to be fair, actually, without if Alex can and Kate could train me up, I reckon I could have a good... I reckon I could can have, have a, go. a good go. But, we can have a go. Yeah, I can um, do monsters and goblins, but I, emotional dying clerics of fox oh. and disease and make it feel like it's an Elden Ring. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, I literally messaged Alex in the morning and he had produced the 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 audio by i think it was like 3 p.m in the afternoon and he just nailed nailed absolutely it. So we, nailed we, it. we didn't go back with any like he just completely nailed it so yeah, he did he did it in two different versions and people don't yeah, know really, the other version yeah. but he just basically did this dramatic version and then he just did this talking version i was like well i don't i mean you nailed it first try mate yeah <laughs> um so anyway, if you haven't should, checked yeah. out our spoiler please do because we put a lot of work into it and it's not like a normal spoiler it, it is basically a story so you might enjoy it. if you like law if you like flesh and blood law we kind of made up a bit of a story about our card we didn't even talk about the fact that we got mark paul right as the artist i know people are like literally oh. i saw someone saying best three arts in in the set and like our card is up there and it, it is so yeah cool. it's bloody like, good he, he did a fantastic job of referencing the guys um, like um, what's, his, what's the rapper's name uh the guy that looks like you um oh uh yeah no i'm not post malone. I'm post malone yeah yeah he did a great job of annihilate annihilating post malone through pox and disease yeah, the, or the hamish biggest, the most exciting oh, i don't thing know why I'm everyone kept saying it was me who's the man with the beard the one thing I'm really looking forward to is doing a pre-release this weekend and, again, and, look, and just opening just that card. It, it's going to be so cool to have the cards in front of me that we got <laughs> to spoil. So I'm just going to keep talking because the Spotify listeners cannot see anything you're doing. Well, no, but now but they, but we Four start shooting your tracks Four anyway. Uh, we should Show stop because yeah. right. I've drank too much. It's been a great podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, consider becoming a patron. Uh, thanks to Living Realms again for being a partner of Push the Point, giving us that 5% discount for patrons that you can use on their website, get yourself some outsiders product, get yourself some blitz decks 
And thank you so much to Metal Fab Tokens for the beers. We're absolutely slaughtered. Uh, it's going to be a rough night. Mm -hmm. And thank you again for the tokens. We're looking forward to giving those to all of our patrons and to people we see uh, out in the real world. Yes. Um, love you, you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.